Come hang out with me while I make my new mothership character. So we're gonna follow along in the player's survival guide. This is only like the second time I have made a character. And I printed out a character sheet. So the official mothership character sheet here. I already decided that I wanna play an android for this game. Uh, so first up, we're going to roll stats. I need to do 2d10 plus 25 for each stat. So let's go. For strength, we have 14 plus 25. That'll be 39. Speed, uh, we got 13 plus 25. So, 38, intellect, uh, so, uh, 17 plus 25, e 42, and 10 plus 25, 35, so 39 strength, 38 speed, 42 intellect, and 35 combat. So for androids, uh, they have a thing here under the class so you can adjust your stats and saves. So let's do that right now. We get plus 20 to intellect. So our android is actually going to have a 62 intellect. Minus 10 to one stat, okay. I might, yeah, let's see. Um, minus 10 to, let's say, speed. I'm not a super speedy android. And now we are going to do our saves, so our sanity, fear, and body saves, we need to do 2d10 and add 10 for each save. So we've got 18 for sanity, so that's 28. A nine for fear, so 19 and 12 for body. That's 22. Now uh, you have to add plus 60 to your fear save for androids. So our fear save is going to be a whopping 79. Androids, I guess, don't get scared very easily. Um, great. So I've done our stats and saves. I already chose my class. Mark your class and alter your stats and saves accordingly. Okay, we did that already. Roll health. So I gotta roll one, 10 sided die, and then add 10. Oof. We got a one, guys. <laughs> uh, so it looks like our max health is gonna be 11. Dang. So bad. Next, stress. Current stress and minimum stress both start at two. Perfect. Note your trauma response. Each class deals with stress and panic differently, which comes into play later in the game. Mark your trauma response for future reference. So the trauma response for my class, androids, is fear saves made by close friendly players are at a disadvantage. Okie dokie. Not gonna affect me gonna affect the party but I think we're gonna do this as a solo adventure um just because it's easier to organize you know how hard it can be to get together all the schedules of a bunch of people okay got health stress um wounds maximum starts at two Okay, but for androids, we get plus one to max wounds, so I guess that'll be a three. Excellent. Choose our skills. Each class comes preloaded with relevant skills, 
which help characters perform better at different challenges. Okay, so androids, we're gonna get linguistics. So there's like trained skills, expert skills, and master skills. So I'm just gonna check off the ones here that are preloaded for android. Linguistics, where are you? Computers. Excellent. Mathematics. And then bonus, one expert skill or two trained skills. Okay, so in order to do the expert skill, you already have to have the trained skill. So I could do psychology because a trained one for that is linguistics or hacking. Oh yeah, heck yeah, let's do hacking. That sounds great. Uh, okay. So we have our one expert skill as a bonus. I don't look in the skills page. I think that's just it. Let me just double check. Uh, okay, yeah, these are just telling you what the skills are about. Characters can acquire more through long-term study and rigorous skill training. Great, okay. Step eight, roll a loadout trinket and patch. Roll a loadout based on your character's class. See page seven. So scientist loadouts. See, I gotta roll a teamster loadouts, android loadouts. There we go. Roll a d10. And we got a 10 or a zero. Gee. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. I get a back suit, which gives me all the points, three, a smart rifle, do androids need back suits? Do they breathe? I have no idea. Smart rifle with two mags, infrared goggles. I guess they wouldn't put a vac suit in the Android loadout if it wasn't useful. Guess we'll find out. And a mylar blanket. All right, might come in handy. Make sure I got everything here. Excellent. So it looks like my armor points are three for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Trinket. Trinkets and patches are on page eight to nine. Okay. I get one trinket and one patch. D100 for trinkets. Let's go. 38. Dog tags. It's an heirloom. Okay. Interesting. And our patch. Another D100. So this game uses D100 and a D20. That's it for dice. Super simple, it's great. 23 for our patch. Foobar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, 2d10 and multiply by 10 for starting credits. Okay, let's go. Seven and a four. Okay. Um, right, 11 times 10. Okay. One hundred and ten credits. 
Finishing, write the character's name and pronouns, mark a zero above high score. You're now ready to play your first session of Must Strip. Okay, uh, so you get like each session that your character survives uh, contributes to their high score. So like my last character made it four sessions, which is apparently average, decidedly average. We need to pick a name for our android and I get stressed about coming up with names on the spot. So I've pulled up the fantasy name generator here uh, and we're just gonna roll through and see if we find anything we like. Let's see. <laughs> How about... Baudry. That sounds good. Baudry. Android pronouns. All right, well, how about Baudry is a they them. I'm not gonna pick a gender for this android. This is fine. You're now ready to play your first session of Mothership. Okay, great. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Can't wait to see what happens to Vaudry.